Hey guys, it's your boy Scandi here and today we're going to learn how to smooth out flaws and blemishes quickly by using the yellow channel on Photoshop. This is a really good technique if you don't have a lot of time and you want results quickly. And we're going to learn also how to clone out imperfections on a separate layer along with an airbrushing technique as well. So the first thing to do as always is drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Photoshop and I'm going to use this picture of an old man that I'm going to retouch. Then just go over to your layers just to show, now it will be locked so don't worry about unlocking it yet. We'll go to image, mode and then you want to click CMYK color. Press OK. Then go over to your channels and click on the yellow channel and then press Control and A on the keyboard to select all of the image and then press Control and C to copy the image then you want to go back to how the image was when you started so press Control, Alt and Z until everything goes back to normal and you get your normal RGB red, green and blue colors then go back over to your layers and unlock the layer by double clicking press OK and then press Ctrl and V to copy the yellow channel and then you want to press Ctrl and I to invert then go to your blending modes and then you want to click soft light now as you can see what that's done is it's basically just got rid of all the wrinkles and the depth of the wrinkles so if I can just take that one off you can see the original picture and that's what it looks like with soft light using the yellow channel I mean if you want to add a bit more definition to your picture then you can just invert it back to normal anyway just by pressing Control and I on the keyboard and you can see that it adds a little bit more definition in the face but Obviously I'm trying to get rid of wrinkles so I'm just going to keep it like that and just to revert it back again just press Ctrl and I again. So go back down to my original layer, right click and then I want to duplicate the layer. Just press OK and then I want to go over to my spot healing brush tool and I just want to kind of get rid of any little small imperfections that are on the face. So you just scroll in by pressing Alt and Zoom and then just go around any little imperfections so I'm just going to fast forward this part just to speed it up so once you're done with that if you can see any little marks on the picture like I can see there on the cheek just turn the opacity down a little bit until you're happy I'll say I'll take mine down to about roughly about 80% and then you're pretty much done with retouching on the face so press control and then highlight these three layers so they're all blue and then right click and convert to a smart object so they're all grouped together now and then right click and duplicate layer press ok have that on top then you want to go over to your filter, blur and surface blur and put the threshold all the way up to the top at 255 levels and then take the radius up as well. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of imperfections on the, on the actual picture but trying to keep the details in at the same time so it just doesn't look like the whole thing's blurred so I'm just going to take the pixels down obviously I don't want to try and I don't want to try and put too much on let's take it down a little bit more and then to bring the detail back I'm going to bring the threshold down as well just a little bit more and I'd say I was pretty happy with that so just press OK just wait for that to apply then go down to your original layer and make another copy you could do that by pressing Control and J 
and then I'm just going to rename the top one blur and then rename the one underneath to high pass and then bring the high pass layer to the top so it shows at the front then go to filter other high pass and mess around with this until you can see just the outlines and not too much detail of the skin so I just want to bring this down a little bit and then press OK when you're happy with that then go into your blending modes and change it to either soft light or hard light so just have a look on hard light and then soft light so I'd say hard light add a little bit more detail but I'm gonna stick with soft light so now press control and select the high pass and blur layers so they're both blue and then press control and G to group them together then you want to add an inverted mask onto the layers so press alt and then click the mask tool at the bottom that looks like a camera and then that'll add an inverted mask on for you and then you can just kind of airbrush over any areas where you need to bring the clarity back a little bit so I'm just gonna go into here like that around the eyes a bit and then onto this side and do the same and then I'm just gonna make the brush bigger by using the brackets underneath the plus and return key and then just go over the bottom as well and any other places that you want to just kind of retouch you can do this that's how you airbrush so once you've gone over the whole image I'd say you was pretty much finished with it so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so as you can see by looking back to the original image it looks a lot better a lot smoother but you can still see all of the details in the picture as well I hope you like this tutorial guys please like share and subscribe to my channel